So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys another incredible creation that I made. It took me a long time to make it, but the synergy is broken. And you guys need to watch it. Runic Tier Limit is a match made in heaven. Imagine a deck, a Tier Limit deck, that has 40 grave effects. So when you go Havnis or Sheeran, Mill 3, you're getting a plus 3. And on top of that, you draw 9 times in one turn. Draw fucking 9. Like, and hand traps don't even stop it. So if you're ready for this video, or you're gonna smash the subscribe button, I really badly want to hit 100,000 subs. So if you guys did not subscribe yet, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Let's hit 100k. So, we're gonna get straight to this video. Before we do though, also, make sure to smash the subscribe button! That's, that was super sus. I don't know why I did that. Nonetheless, smash the subscribe button. I can't stress this enough. If you guys are watching and unsubscribed, I'm gonna be sad. I'm also gonna be sad if you guys don't get a beautiful playmat on TRIFFGAMING.COM! Oh my god, look how sexy these playmats are. Like, it's absolutely beautiful how amazing these mats are. Especially, my personal favorite is the Draco Slayer mat, El Lich mat, Beyond the Pendulum mat. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them. So make sure to check it out. Also check out the sponsor of today's video, Sleeve Chief, where you can get the most awesome sleeves in the world down description below. Let's get into this video. So the idea of this deck is very simple. It's the fact that when you mill a bunch of times, there's no better cards to mill than runic cards because they're just going to be upstart goblins at the end. Milling a runic card in this deck is the equivalent of milling a metal force fusion that is an infinite times per turn. So imagine when you draw nine times in a turn, how the fuck are you losing? And typically, Runic Sprite does not have the like bombshell power to break boards at, without a battle phase. That's what this deck does. It doesn't matter if it's a battle phase or not, you're breaking boards like nothing. Pay close attention, stay tuned to the end of the video. This is gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna show you guys the actual combo, which is just incredibly broken. So, draw phase, you're gonna summon this out. Stay tuned to the end of the video, because this is truly gonna blow your mind. The idea of this deck is simple. If you mill any Runic card, okay? You get a plus, th like, instantly, it's a draw one, eventually. That's the idea of this deck. And you draw so many times in the in the turn without Runic without runic Fountain that even if you don't open Runic cards, you eventually get them. It's absolutely busted. And you can even Beatrice, Mill, Runic Fountain, and then add it back with the level four. Ugh, so broken. Just watch this video, okay? So here we're going to Mill, Murley. We're going to trigger the Murley now. Murley is going to put back Murley and Havnis. We're going to get Kikalos. Kikalos, add this. We're going to Mill some more. Now we're going to trigger Havnis. So we used two already. At this point, very big brain play here. Go By the way, if they bisted anything at any moment, we don't give a fuck. These are all, at the moment, we're just at the mo we're just trying to bait in their interruptions and, and fill the graveyard with runic spells. That's all we're doing at the moment. If you notice, I have not used my runic fountain yet. Look closely now. We're going to use the effect of Perlino to pop our own Hugin. Hugin then says, if this card in the field is destroyed by Battler card effect, return it to the extra deck, allowing us to recycle Hugin. So Hugin now goes back into the extra deck. Next, we're gonna go Runic Fountain and special Gary. Ha, <laughs> cool. That's like a first name. Hugin's definitely not a first name, unless you're huge, like all pen players, you already know what it is. And we're gonna go Runic Destruction. We're gonna draw th casually draw three. Okay, doesn't matter what we draw. Okay, doesn't matter what we draw. We're gonna go through even more stuff now. So now if you look at the end board, we have a level four, we have a bunch of different attributes as a beast. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Curious. Curious will send Zephyros. Garura will draw one for the fourth draw of the turn. Zephyros is how you utilize Runic Fountain in a broken way. So now, we're going <laughs> to... This is so broken, bro. We're going to mill three because of Curious. We're going to... Uh, uh, Rhino got milled, so we're going to send Rhino. We're going to trigger the Sheeran. Sheeran effect will put back the Gary, recycling. So all you need is a level two and a level four because you recycle them both a lot. So you get Draco's to Palea. Now you have Rhino Heart in the field. You use all the Tealman effects now. And at any point, you get Zephyros at any point. We didn't even use Kit Kalos Grave Effect yet. So we're going to use Kit Kalos to special the Merly. We're just going to mill for free. Look at the graveyard now. The graveyard has one, two, three, four, five runic spells. It had three already because we put them back under three. Eight runic spells. That's how you make runic broken. So now, and if they hand trap to any, the only card, hand trap that hurts is Droll because you, you draw nine times in a turn. So you go Elf, get Blue, get Jet, get Smashers. Broken. This is free. Sprite Blue. The engine of Sprite Blue is the best mill of all. So there's no actual bad Grave Effects to mill. Everything's a good mill. Even milling a Bisted is broken. Because the deck plays Dugaris. So you special the Bisted and get that engine rolling. Because once you get Magnum on the field, 
You get all the business stuff rolling. And the beauty of Runic Fountain is drawing into hand traps. Like Bisted stuff. Next, like there's just so many lines of play. We're gonna go Dugaris. We're gonna go Zephyros to bounce back the Runic Fountain. If you notice now, there's no card in the extra monster zone. That's where Gigantic Sprite and Dugaris really come in handy. If you special the level four, like this deck is so broken. Like I'm a truly a PG in Yu-Gi-Oh. We're gonna go Runic Fountain. We didn't use Freezing Curses yet. If we did, we'll just use Runic Destruction. Special Gary, again, use Gary's effect this time because we actually milled the Runic Fountain. Get that back to hand. And now, <laughs> draw three again. Because Runic Fountain is not a hard once per turn, it's a soft once per turn. This is so busted. Like, this is actually busted. It It's really busted. I'm pretty sure we could have done this in a way to draw even 10 times or 11 times in one turn. But anyways, so those three more draws. So, so now we have seven draws on the turn. And let's make Dugaris complete the nine. Like, this is nine draws in one turn. And you're always... Because you just play a minor Bisted Engine. Just two Lavellion, two Magnum, but one Druid. Just minor. Because you're always going to join to it. Or if you mill it, you special it. It's so broken. And now, like, like look, we have... So many cards in hand, it's insane. And we're going to go Mascarena, Special Murley, get Sprite Sprint. We didn't even use Sprint this turn because we already set Mur uh, Murley already. We set Solyek, we set Smashers. I guess we could set up one Runic card if we want, but we don't really need to. On their turn now, we use Runic Tip right away in the draw phase just to draw even more times. Uh, did I use Magnemon on my turn? I didn't even use Magnemon. Like, bro, like, to... On their draw phase, you're gonna have nine cards in the in the hand. Look at this. In fact, instead of Sprite Sprint, I probably should have gone Nightmare Griffin, which I have Nightmare Griffin in this extra deck, which I, I just left it as like if you wanted it to be a flex spot like Zeus or something, you could you don't really need to play the Griffin. You could side the D Griffin for Eradicator because post side deck this is also setting Eradicator. This is so broken. This is like how many interruptions is this? It's too many to even count. This is truly busted. Like, like you draw nine, bro. You draw nine, and there's no time in the combo that you're kind of hurt. And the way it clears boards, so Runic, uh, the issue with Runic, as people know, is that it can't, like, without a battle phase, it's tough to clear stuff. So this play deck also plays Topologic Zero Boros. Because, and because you play two Runic Fountain, you could even banish your Fountain, it doesn't matter. That's also why you play Zephyros. So when you're, you're, Let's say you you have to use this in the draw phase to clear some stuff your opponent has. Okay. As you play, you go Curious, send Zephyros. You draw you drew a bunch of times Runic Fountain. Like you have infinite cards in hand because of Runic Fountain, so that's not an issue. And then when you go into Zero Boros, you go Zephyros to bounce the fountain back to your hand. And then you special the Zephyros. Uh, and then Fountain's back to your hand. Zero Boros will banish the whole field underneath Zephyros. Fountain is now in your hand, and your extra monster zone is, is free. So then you activate Running Fountain, draw again, draw three again, and you just clear their opponent's entire board. And you have like five cards in hand. It's so broken. This is the deck list. I organized it in a way where you can see all the cards together. Also, I want you guys to pay this close attention to this. These last five Runic spells, they do suck. I know. But they're only there just to special summon, so it doesn't matter. Uh, a cool thing about this deck as well is... If you remove these four, which I even debated not even maining, per, not even playing Perlino or Instant Fusion. If you look at this now, okay? So, remove these five, okay? These five at the bottom. The other 42 cards are all good grave effects to mill. Do you have any... Oh, sorry, not Lubellion. There. The top 40 are actually great to mill. Because you always need access. Always need access to a Vistid card. Always. So... Milling a Magnema is actually amazing because you just do Gar if you mi if you're missing after you draw nine and you still miss a Bisted card, you just do Garus or draw seven. Dugaris is always safe for last. You special the Magnema. Magnema will then get the Druid, and because Druid is two interruptions always on the opponent's turn because you send it with Solyak. This is so busted. So anything you mill is insane. And then post side deck, you can remove small engines. Let's say for example, going second. Uh, you could remove this like a whole engine so you could remove for example the sprite cards or if you fear yeah remove the sprite stuff going second that's like five move the uh, the bisted stuff if you don't think it's good against our deck put in board breakers remove maybe a minor runic engine like the shit ones and as far as go second cards are concerned all the runic cards are go second cards three six nine twelve you play 12 defensive cards you don't need and you don't even need them and post side is just absurd you're not able also able to play mannequin cat going first for a floodgate 
It's just insane. This is the idea of the deck. I'm also going to show you guys a 60 card version of the deck now. A 40 card version of the deck. So this is, if you want to play specifically 40 and don't want to play the Bisted stuff, you could play this. The idea of this is because you're like all these are good grip effects and Tillerman Scream uh, is even more broken in this deck because when you get to mill the Runic stuff. With the Tillerman Scream, you should actually, like th with this, if you guys notice no Perlino Instant Fusion, the reasoning behind this is that every single card in this deck, the first 38 cards are all grave effects. So it makes it so your mill threes are like GG. That's the idea of this. But I would still play Perlino Instant Fusion because it, it ensures that Scream will always resolve. Uh, it makes it so Scream is a literal FTK in this deck. And uh, yeah, so they're all, they're all really good versions. I like the 47 version better. So this, this is my personal favorite version of the deck. And the deck's insane. As I said in the beginning of the video, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh! PhD. Don't forget that. If you guys got this far and love this idea of the deck, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. Also, make sure to get the beautiful playmats from gaming.com and match your Astrogat playmats and your Mighty Masters playmats with these sleeves, which you get in the description. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.